Hello, my sisters. Thank y'all so much for coming back. Thank y'all for loving my uh, video yesterday. Let's say prayers and then we'll get, it, get this. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, blessing, and awesome day. Forgive me of the sins I've committed against you. I just want to say thank you for your mercy, your grace, your love, your kindness, everything that you bestow upon us. Let this food be nourishing into my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Hey y'all, let's do the toast. We have uh, Amsterdam grapefruit flavored vodka with some vodka, I mean with some grapefruit in it, and uh, a lime. This is a toast to my new subscribers, the new ones is coming in. I hope y'all like my content and share me. Uh, before you leave, uh, if you want to join the Hoosters family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, that notification bell and comment, share, and like. So this is to you, salute and salute. Sip, 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 the good stuff. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I have some new chopsticks. Look at that. Yeah, you know, I got my spicy noodles. I did one pack because I don't want to waste no food. And, of course, I have leftover. My last of my, <laughs> you know, I'm that leftover girl, that leftover chicken. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, let's get started. My life, my story. Where I left off, I left off when I remember when I went out and I came in at 3.30 in the morning and, and that man had moved that sofa to that door so he could be awakened once I came in and he told me to take off all y'all clothes. Well, yeah, you know, since he was a good late. Yeah, I, I, I snatched them clothes off because I knew we was going to have some good, 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 good stuff going on. Okay, y'all, so all of a sudden, you know, we had never had oral sex in nine months, right? Just some good, good, clean well, I don't know if it was clean, but some good, good, good stuff, right? All of a sudden, y'all, he wanted to nam. And I'm thinking like, ew, it was awful. It was so awful. Mm-hmm. He did not know. Mm, look at that mess. <laughs> I think I need to train my, 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 uh, chapsticks. He did not know what the hell he was doing, y'all. I think that was his first time ever trying to nam. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, eat your stuff. Mm -hmm. Get that. Y'all, I was laying back and I was like, oh God, I hope he heard. Oh my God, this is awful. Oh my God, oh my God. But then, you know, you have to make the sounds like you, like you, like you like it. Like, ooh, it's like, ooh, hurry up the, hurry the hell up. So you try to make a, ooh, oh, like, you know, you make those sounds, make it sound sexual, but you said in your mind, if you don't hurry up and get your ass up, like, really, dude? Anyway, so he set up good <laughs> for them few little hours, because, you know, I ain't get into 3.30. So, uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I woke up at... In a couple hours, because I had to get the boys breakfast and stuff. And then, you know, they got in their rooms and they was doing their play. And I laid back down. Then he got up. And, and I'm thinking, like, I sure hope him remember what he did. Because he sure didn't do nothing. Because I was wondering, like, what the hell happened myself? <laughs> Y'all already know where I'm about to go. That drink is good. I don't do jealousy. I don't do, y'all already know I run from a man with that jealous shit. I don't take it well at all. Well, um, it didn't really start that way, but he started wanting me to get back in that truck and I refused to get in that truck. I, I didn't, I did not. <laughs> so he wanted to be clingy, clingy, and clingy, clingy, and clingy, clingy, but he started doing something I ain't like. You no. Know, I don't mind you drinking. I don't. But you got to have some etiquette with it. Can't drink every day. So he got, well, he wanted to drink maybe three or four beers every day. That's what he called his winding down time. Mm-hmm. I don't care about you wanting to wind down. 
Everybody got their own way of winding down. I don't knock that. I don't. But I do not want to get up on you and smelling like I'm in a beer distillery every time I want to get up on you and hug and kiss you. I ain't going with that. Uh-uh. So that's what really started to get to our relationship. But y'all, we had went to that club where we once met, where we first met, actually. And uh, he had went to the men's room, and I got up to dance with this guy. It was uh, just a dance. No touchy fit, none of that bull crap. But it ain't set well with him. That that jealousy, y'all. So on the way home, I was driving his car. He wanted to... And I'm, I'm thinking like, okay. So I had an idea, y'all. Y'all can call me mean, girl, because I was. Mm-hmm. We got your red light, and I say, come on, drive this car. Y'all, he got out. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but it was funny. It wasn't funny then, but it's funny now. <laughs> I got out of that car, y'all, to come to the driver's side, and I drove off. I left him at that red light. <laughs> on the north side. We lived on the south side. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, somebody in his family had to come get him. So the next day, y'all, he was pissed. When he got to the house, he didn't say nothing. He didn't say a word. He came in. He hugged me. He packed his things. <laughs> he asked for his car keys. And yeah, he left. Well, that was good because it saved me some drama. Because he was about to go there with me and we weren't going to have it. So I think he knew too. That I, that, you know, I'm, I'm, I could be a crazy girl too. Uh -huh. So... I think, oh, that's spicy. Oh, my mouth is burning, y'all. But, y'all, he left, he left for what? Maybe a good week. Maybe a good week. So I took it that he was busy on those highways and byways in his truck. He did. He came back, y'all. He tried to come back. <laughs> he tried to come back. I ain't let him. Because I knew that drinking. Because he came in. But actually, he came over with a with a beer in his hand. I was like, oh. I don't know if I, even though I missed him like crazy. If I get up on him, he going to probably smell like a distillery. And of course he didn't. He was like, now he, he was 6'6". Six, six. When I met his mom and them, they had showed me pictures of the that the Chronicle took. Because she was like a, a how very painfully thin lady. She could have weighed a good 80 pounds. And she said that had been her weight for, for years. She had this big old 13 and a half pound man, baby. Yeah. It was him. He had the nicest family. Very humble people. Uh, in fifth ward, I want to say. Mm -hmm. I didn't let him come back though, y'all. But because that sex, <laughs> because the sex was so doggone good, he didn't come back any day and get that. He just can't stay. Probably shouldn't have moved in in the beginning. I don't like these chopsticks. I like my wood ones. These things too, they too slippery. I need to rough them up. So yeah, I did not want to move with him anymore. Were we still in love with one another? Of course we were. Were we meant to live together? No. But we still did the nasty for a long time too, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A long time. So I was with him for a while. 
It bothered him though, because he couldn't be inside that house. <laughs> he could he, he could all night every now and again on weekends. But that but you know he tried, you know how you know <laughs> y'all, you know, y'all gonna call my ass crazy. I don't care. You know how a man wanna come over and spend a night? Well, y'all got a relationship, right? Mm-hmm. And they come over, y'all have fun, y'all watch movies, you might have a cocktail or not. You know, you might get intimate with one another and do some foreplay and then you get in the bed, you do the nasty and it can last for hours if he's good and you're up to it. And, you know, it can be fantastic actually. And so, you know, he spent a night and, you know, he done brought some clothes over in his trunk that you didn't know. You know, and you said, I got an extra toothbrush in the uh, in the drawer to the left. If you open it up, that's an extra toothbrush. Do brush your teeth. And so, um, mm hmm Yeah. And then he says this. Baby, I'm going to go to the car. I have a change of clothes in the back seat or the trunk. He used one or the other. Mm-hmm. My mind. I don't know about everybody else. I'm thinking like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Because I haven't seen it. I haven't heard of it. So he goes to the car. He get a change of clothes. You know, you still so lovey-dovey. You know, you even take a shower together and stuff like that. Uh, he changed clothes. And just so happened, she leave them boxes <laughs> right between the bathtub and the toilet. Mm-hmm. That's him trying to figure out if you, what you're going to say, because he's really trying to move in on the slide. You know, and I, you know, y'all going to think I'm crazy. I ain't lying. I, I go. I let it stay right there. Mm -hmm. So I cook breakfast all the time. We we shoot the shit, and it's time for him to go. So he take that overnight bag that he done brought to the living room already. You don't know I know them drawers. They're still sitting on that floor in that bathroom. <laughs> I don't, don't leave your dirty ass drawers. <clears throat> so I wait till he got to the car. And I ran to the bathroom, and I, and I had got a bag out the kitchen, you know, one of the garbage bags that the store give you. I put them little drawers in that bag, and I tied it up. I said, wait a minute, you forgot something. <laughs> Dude, really? They'll try to do that, y'all. Watch that move. That's an old move. Watch that move. He, it may not be drawers. It may not be boxers this time. It may be a shirt, a T-shirt, one of them undershirts. A hair brush. Excuse me. It can be something like that these days. Yeah. Don't let them leave it because we, anytime a man, sometimes it can be by accident. Very slim chance, though, is accident. But when he started leaving his shit behind, know that he has an agenda to want to ease up and move in with you. Mm-mm. To flash forward to now, just for a moment. Don't do that. That's the biggest turn off to me. Because if y'all haven't sat down and had that mutual conversation that we want to take it to the next level, let's try to live together and let's see how we work. You try to sneak your shit in by leaving shit. That that lets me know you have an agenda. And it don't add up to mine. And I will call your ass out. You know what, y'all? I'm going to tell y'all something. I remember back in the day. I cleaned it. I'm, you know, I love chicken, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I can eat so much chicken, I, I eat myself tired of chicken. 
I'm, I'm ready. I'm so ready for some seafood, but I don't know if I had it three times this month already. My, my doctor limited me, and I'm, I'm going to try to follow her. I said my cholesterol was going high, y'all. I don't want to be on nobody pills. I'm not on nobody pills. I don't want to get on none in it either. So I'm thinking about, I, th I remember doing one seafood boil for January. And I'm due two more, but I'm, a, I'm only going to do one. And hopefully, hopefully uh, this is the weekend. Look at these chopsticks, y'all. Look at that shine. How in the hell that shine going to hold my noodles versus those wood chopsticks? Y'all, I'll... I bought these because, you know, they were different. Man. Oh, y'all. This one bag. See, I can eat one bag of noodles. And two bags is what get me because it be so way up here, right? <laughs> so, anyway, y'all. Uh, today. To fast forward to today. I battle with myself. You know how sometimes your heart battles with your mind your heart wants love your hearts want a connection with somebody your heart wants to spend time with one person your mind says do i really want to start a new relationship do i really want to go through some bs do i really want to start over again over again over again you got to learn people ways and you I front with that. You know why? Because on my single side, now for three years going, still pushing forward. Have I done nasty in the middle? Yeah, I have. I tried it one, two times. Three in three years. Yeah. So I battle with my happiness because I'm happy now. You know, when you're single, I, I can't speak for everybody, y'all. I can only speak for this hood girl. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Do I wake up lonely sometimes? Well, lonesome. I'm not lonely because I have my God who always picks me up when I, I'm, I fall a little lower. You know what I mean? That's a struggle for me because, yes, I want to kiss a man. Yeah, I want to do the nasty. Yes, I want to lay in his arms and watch Netflix. Yeah, I want that call to just, uh, just because call. Uh, uh, just because flower or uh, flowers. Men, if you're listening and you're liking me, tulips are my favorite. I'll just, I'll just interject that in there, okay? So look here. But I struggle with that. Only because I just don't know if I'm ready to share all of me. You, I know y'all will say, well, you share your coochie. Why not the rest? Because sometimes, y'all, you just want to share your coochie and tell them fools to go home. Don't call me. I'll call you and I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'm going to call you. I'm a cow, you okay? <laughs> I struggle with marriage. I've been married once. My uh my husband is deceased. I just don't know if I'm ready to do it again. I struggle with that too because I'm 50 something. I don't know. I don't I know for a fact of the matter. I do not want to grow old alone. I don't. I want that companion. Can I use that word companion? Mm -hmm. I want that companion without all that other stuff. Can it can I get the companions without the drama? Confusion. Confrontation. You know, one thing about me, my man, my boyfriend, my boo thing, whoever he may be to me, when he comes and find me, got to come find me, baby. I'm waiting on you. Whoever you is, come on. You can be my companion. I ain't going to look for you. You need to come find me. 
You got to know I'm yours when you find me, too. Women, remember that. Okay? Right? I cook. I'm a cook. My man would never have to, let's say, he, on a Wednesday, he called and said, babe, what you doing? Nothing. And you know he ain't been at work all day. You know, Wednesday's a good day to go out and get something to eat too, right? But this particular day, you say, babe, I know you worked all day. Um, I'm a, uh, I'll have dinner. You want to come over and have dinner with me? Mm-hmm. That shit I love to do. Because you already know, one thing we're going to have to learn in today's time, men are, men, I mean, I'm sorry. I might be overstepping my boundaries, so forgive me in advance, but I'm about to say something that may hurt your pride. But put your pride aside because it's an abomination to God anyway. You shouldn't have it anyway, but I'm about to say this, so get ready. You can close your ears in the next few seconds. Here goes. Women. Men are weak today. We have always been the help me, the stronghold for our men. Today, more so than ever, I believe, if I'm wrong, comment below, I don't mind. We have to encourage men more today than we ever have. We have to lift them up, even when we don't feel like it, when we don't have the strength, when we weak ourselves. We have to, we have to build them up, y'all. Okay, you know what? When I watch these, <laughs> see, when I watch these, I ain't going to use them again. I'm going back to my wood because I like that wood. I don't know how you get that. <laughs> they have to be lifted up so more today. They have to be encouraged so more today. They have to be built up so more today than ever. And it's all right, men, if you uh, come in and say I'm right. <laughs> yeah. Well, a good man. Well, a good man, you don't mind lifting him up. So one thing, I believe, and it works both ways. When you are good one to another, you want to do good things for each other. You know what I mean? That man know he done worked all day, whether it's on the highways, whether it's in the warehouse, whether it's driving a truck, whether it's uh, out there trying to be a, a, a marketer, whatever his position is out there in the world in his job field, men don't mind coming, coming to somebody's house to have a good hot meal that was cooked on the stove. It's too easy to order food. It's too easy to go out. Shit, I love that now. That's what I do. I'm single. But to cook for a man every now and again, at the end of that day, he is so thankful and grateful. And, and even though he didn't come over for all that other stuff, he just knew that he was going to get in my hot home cooked meal. Baby, sex at the end of that meal is divine. Mm. Y'all better recognize. Mm-hmm. I know the noodles were good. I'm about to drink that juice, y'all. I'm not new to this thing. I'm true to it. I've seen, I've been, I've done, and I'm still learning. And I'm glad to still be learning. But men today have changed just as us. We just got to tap into that thing that they that that we know that they need because we can we can do it. Y'all, so, yeah, um, we got to love our men, so don't go searching for your man, though, don't do that, because I believe a man is meant to find you, when you are content where you are, at, when you are not thinking about a man, I believe that's when they come and get us, so just be diligent and, and wait you know sometimes you wait good things come mm -hmm. so even though 
I'm 50 something. I'm still waiting. I'm not no no rush only because I know I know what I want. I know what I think I want. <laughs> I'll say that. So you have to know yourself as well. So with that said, let's stop at that because you know I feel the start preaching. I'll preach y'all. I will preach when it comes to these relationships and marriages. I keep telling y'all that is my specialty. And once I get started, it's hard to shut this girl down. So, um, all of my new hussies that join me today, I'll say it again. Before you leave, you want to join this family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, that notification bell, ding, dong, ding, dong. Don't forget to comment, share, and like. And with that said, you already know that I love you and there is nothing you can do about it. And with that said, have a good night. And, and.